new motor into the Mathis cooler fan. I got some cable ties on it. Don't don't laugh at this. It may look a little silly, but it's in there pretty good. I was able to remount the sides of the mounting brackets and get the new Universal brand motor in it. I wasn't able to uh, get the blade off that was originally on and I, I soaked it in penetrating oil overnight and I tried and I tried but I couldn't get it off so I didn't want to break anything so I just left the original blade on. It's slightly smaller than the true Mathis blade but it still works pretty well. So now I'll give a, a demonstration of the startup of the Mathis cooler. Got a little bit of vibration. I think the auto transformer mounting is loose. I'm going to repair that. I'll probably put a new power cord on it too. I don't think the auto transformer is really, really does much. It seems to kind of stay at the same speed, no matter what you set it at.